we all know it. Sleep, eating, moving our bodies, all super helpful, right? But what we probably don't do is actually consciously choose to do something about the things we're not doing. So this audio is all about sleep. And why sleep? Because really, at the end of the day, you know, our sleep in two ways. One thing is, is if we don't get enough sleep, you know, you just, you cannot focus. You cannot be switched on. You cannot be in a headspace that is actually going to support you, right? Like if you are foggy, if you are feeling fatigued, if you are like overwhelmed, if you don't have much energy, like your body is naturally going to run on default. And for most of us, our default setting, probably not helpful in resetting or growth, right? But here's the other problem with sleep, right? Is quite often what a lot of us do is we actually, and this might not be you, if it's not, pause, keep keep going, right? But We stay up late because we assume that that's the only time we get to ourselves. And then in that time that we get to ourselves, we do a few things. We either overthink the fuck out of things, which is great, not really me time. We scroll TikTok, social media, right? Great, not really you time. That's checkout time. Like you time is quality time with you. That to me is distraction and checkout. That's not quality time with yourself, right? Or quality time at all. Or we might insert alcohol, drugs, food, like all the things that numb us out of having to feel. Now, none of that is actually you time. None of that is quality time. And none of that, as we all fucking know, is supportive of you being able to create the life that you want. Now, here's the other thing is because we do that of an evening, and I'm not guilty of this, right? Like, there are still times when I do this. I'm a whole lot better at it, at not doing it right. Still fucking do it. Human, okay? But when we stay up late, what happens is, is that when our alarm goes off in the morning, we're fatigued. Like, we're already tired. We already don't want to get up. And if you have little people, chances are is that you're getting up with them, right? Or they're waking you up. And then we're starting the day in chaos, in stress, in screaming, in carrying on, in doing all the things, right? And if you don't have little people, then you're probably waking up with, I don't know, 30 minutes to be where you need to be. And then you're racing around and then you can't find the thing. And then there's no time to eat. And like, we're starting the morning rushed. Okay. Or for many of us, right? We're waking up and we're first thing we do is we look at our fucking phone. Oh, what's on TikTok? Oh, how many likes did I get on Instagram? Oh, what did Betty get up to yesterday? Oh, shit, how much money's in my bank account? Oh, look at all those emails. Oh, shit, here's my to-do list. And we're switching on the fight or flight response the minute, the minute we wake up. And that is exhausting. So here is going to be what I would love you to do. For a week, a whole week, I want you to write out Every single night, like your sleep, what you do, like you don't need to change anything for the first week, right? Write it out. What do you do of an evening after you feel like it's downtime? Is it productive in terms of your growth and your personal development? And remember, this is not a right or wrong, yeah? The other thing I want to highlight when I talk about is this productive for your growth and personal development, relaxation and chilling the fuck out is useful for growth and development. What is not useful is checking the fuck out. Relaxation and checking out are not the same thing. Just a heads up, right? So keep a journal. What are you doing of an evening? How does your evening pan out? What time do you get to bed? What is your sleep pattern like? What time do you wake up? And what is the mornings like for you? Then what I want you to do is I want you to think about how could we of an evening before the time when we go to bed like bring it back 10 minutes. So if you go to, if your like pattern is like you go to bed at midnight, from now on at 11.50, you are going to go to bed and all I want you to do is breathe or listen to a meditation or if you hate meditation, listen to your favorite song that is coming. Maybe you like to listen to the sounds of night of an evening, like Joel snores, so I fucking hate that. So I would listen to a meditation, right? I just want you to spend 10 minutes in just breath, right? Just being in that moment. 
And then the next thing I want you to do is I want you to set your alarm for 10 minutes earlier the next day. Okay. And if you can, it might need to be a little bit earlier again. If you've got little people, you might need to set it for 20 minutes, right? To try and beat them. And what I want you to do in that 10 minutes is you're not allowed your phone. Like the minute you wake up, no phones, people. And I literally want you to lie there with your eyes closed, open if it feels better. And I want you to just breathe. And I want you to just check in. Hang on a minute. Like, whew, what do I notice today? Like, do I need a stretch? Do I need something to eat? What do I need this morning to support me in having a beautiful day? And so for that 10 minutes, we're breathing, we're doing meditation, we're practicing the art of checking in with what we need. If you can't figure it out, that's like, okay, like don't get caught up in, oh my God, I can't figure out what I need. Don't worry about it. Okay. Or if you get caught up in the story of, oh, what do I need? I need a fucking holiday. Great. Then let that one go too, because that's called resentment and frustration. That's actually not called what you need. What you need is the moment, right? And I just want you to notice what happens. Like, so for a week, We're writing down our sleep habits and then for the next week we're practicing this. We're getting up 10 minutes earlier and we're going to bed 10 minutes earlier. And then what you might find is after that week you extend it. So you go to bed 20 minutes earlier and give yourself 20 minutes. And then you get up 20 minutes earlier so you get 20 minutes in the morning to just start your day beautifully. And then after you've done that for a week you actually check in and go okay So what might be some of the behaviors at the evening that I want to change? And then you do that for a week. See how this is a month-long process? Like we always try to do it all at once. That all or none doesn't help. And then in the fourth week, we go, okay, now that I've got the evening working well, I'm going to bed 20 minutes earlier. I'm getting up 20 minutes earlier. Is there anything I need to change in the morning to support me to feel good too? Right? Anything, anything in life that is going to make a positive impact and positive change is going to take time, right? Anything worthwhile takes time. And this is just another one of those things, right? But instead of jumping in all or none, trying to change everything, feeling like you have to push shit uphill at like the end of the year when you're already fatigued, it's not going to work. Breaking things down, doing things one by one, that is going to be more productive for what you need. Let me know where you're at. Let me know how I can help. Let me know what you notice when you start to tweak the dial on some of these things. Like, I'd love to hear from you.